It's time to saddle up with Hollywood's two biggest movie stars in How the West Was Fun. Wait, this for my slumber party. I'm talking about cowboys and aliens. A spaceship arrives in Arizona 1873 to take over the Earth, starting with the Wild West region. A group of cowboys is all that's standing in their way. The movie stars Daniel Craig, Harrison, get off my plane, you meddling kids, Ford, and it's directed by John Favreau. What other movie did Harrison Ford famously wear a hat in? Oh yeah, Witness. And let me get right down to the point, this continues the huge summer action explosion season. But I do have complaints. I can't suspend disbelief too much when it comes to the Old West, but the way people looked, dressed, and acted was a little hard to swallow. Daniel Craig looks like he has the only YMCA membership in the whole place, and his clothes are tailored to where he either looks like he's going to a hipster club or he's trying out for the village people. The leather chaps are a dead giveaway. Olivia Wilde looks way too hot for the time period. She's wearing eyeshadow. Also in some places, Harrison Ford chews up the scenery with his overacting. He's one more shot of whiskey away from Nick Nolte territory. Yet out of all of this, I didn't have a problem with aliens being there. The good thing about the movie is that it has cowboys fighting aliens. How cool is that? We should have been playing that instead of cowboys and Indians. But I don't think laser cannons are allowed on playgrounds. Yet. The aliens in the film are really well done and scary looking. Overall, the movie has a super original plot, the acting and casting is great, and it's a great summer film. I give this film three different cowboys, and they're all better at life than Tony Romo. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to revive Val Kilmer's career. 